<laughs> right, let's get cooking. Here we are in Twyford's wonderful showroom back again. Today it's baking. My first thing is an apology. I'm sorry I'm not from Hollywood. <laughs> but actually everything Paul Hollywood produces is potentially shop walk because it's too perfect. And anybody who's seen me before knows that too perfect doesn't quite work in my realm of theatre. So we're not going to do anything too perfect, but we're not going to be Paul Hollywood. So without further ado, to start cooking, here is the arga. This is a four oven arga with a power flue. It doesn't matter what drives your arga, gas or your electricity, whether you've got two ovens, three ovens or four ovens, all argas cook in exactly the same way. All argas have the boiling plate. This is the hottest domestic heat source there is. There is nothing hotter in anybody's kitchen than the boiling plate. Whatever anybody with a five ring gas wok burner might dream, this is as hot as it gets. Beside it, the simmering plate runs at about half the temperature of the boiling plate. Anything you put onto your simmering plate cold will gently and gradually come to the boil, so it's brilliant for custards and scrambled eggs and sauces. Anything you put onto your simmering plate already boiling will continue to simmer away gently. It does exactly what it says it's going to do. The boiling plate boils, the simmering plate simmers. Then we come on to the ovens. However many ovens you've got, we've all got the roasting oven and it's always the top oven at the top right. The roasting oven is the main oven of the Arga. It's the most glorious, all-round, all-encompassing, indirect radiant heat, which sounds hideously technical. It just means the heat's coming from everywhere. If you think of a conventional electric oven, it's got a couple of elements down the side, pushing out the heat, and sometimes a fan sort of blowing it around a bit. In a conventional gas oven, you've just got a single row of flames at the back. In the Arga oven, the heat's coming at the food from the cast iron floor, the cast iron roof, the cast iron sides, and the cast iron back. It's coming from every possible angle, so it really seals the flavour into the food very quickly when it gets into the oven. The extremes of the oven, the floor and the roof, are nearly as hot as the boiling plate. So we use the floor of the oven, we use the roof of the oven as cooking surfaces. Lots of people say, oh, you can't grill on an arga. The roof of the oven is the grill. It's hotter than their electric grill anyway. So make the most of every inch of heat that you've got in your arga. This is a four oven arga. On a four oven arga, the oven below the roasting oven is the baking oven. The baking oven runs at about three quarters the temperature of the roasting oven. Hot air rises, so it's slightly hotter higher up than lower down. So you cook biscuits and sponges fairly high in your baking oven, shortbreads and fruitcakes fairly low in your baking oven. And on a four oven arga, the simmering oven is the top left. We've all got the roasting oven, we've all got the simmering oven. The simmering oven runs at about half the temperature of the roasting oven. The simmering oven is above boiling point, it actively cooks. Anything you put into your simmering oven cold, over time, will come to the boil. Anything you put into your simmering oven, already boiling, will continue to cook. And that's the difference between us and the rest of the world. In Argoland, we bring it to the boil, we chuck it in the oven, we let it get on with it. We go and walk the dog, we go and run the country, we go shopping, whatever we're doing that day. Dinner's in the oven, you don't have to think about it. Other people bring things to the boil and then stand and watch. In Argoland, we are elsewhere. It's the most wonderfully liberating <laughs> oven. And then on a four oven arga, the oven below the roasting oven, is not the roasting, the simmering oven rather, is the warming oven. The warming oven is below boiling point, it does not actively cook. The warming oven is the perfect temperature to hold food to go to the table. You can put a whole dinner party in your warming oven, go and have another glass of, glass of wine with your guests, I haven't had any glass of wine yet. <laughs> and it won't spoil, it won't burn, it won't dry out, it just sits and waits for you. The only thing the warming oven actively cooks is meringues. You put a batch of meringues in the warming oven, get them up by the end of the weekend. <laughs> I tend to hide meringues in my oven because I know that if they're in a tin, somebody will find them. If they're in the oven, somebody knows that they're there, but they're not allowed. And the warming oven is the one farmers put orphan lambs into. If you're going to put an orphan lamb or a litter of puppies in your warming oven, do not shut the door. <laughs> when they are better, they like to get out. <laughs> and I had the most alarming se session the other day. I got to that point on somebody's arga in a farmhouse in Swindon, and I opened the door and there was a lamb in it. 
and she'd shut the door to tidy the kitchen before I arrived. And um, it sort of skittered across the floor, <laughs> perfectly well and alive and healthy, but just a little bit warm around the edges. Um, the four oven also has the warming plate here that you can see is really quite useful. It's also the best ironing board ever invented. So that's a four oven arger. If you've got a two oven arger, it is a metre wide. You have the boiling plate, you have the simmering plate, you have the roasting oven, exactly the same. If you've got a two oven arger, your bottom oven is your simmering oven. So everything I'm going to put in the top left goes in your bottom oven if you've got two ovens. 